We present QuantaiChi, a compiler for quantized simulations. QuantaiChi allows developers to simulate more voxels or particles with less memory. High resolution simulation can deliver great fidelity and visual quality, yet they are often limited by available memory. Here we show two pieces of related work from Liu et al. and Wang et al. on extremely high resolution grid and particle simulation, respectively. Clearly, the amount of detail visible from the simulation is only available under very high resolution. Storing the physical state of these physical simulations needs a huge amount of memory, which is a precious computational resource, especially on GPUs. A very straightforward idea to save memory is just to use fewer bits for physical states. For example, in a particle simulation, we might need to store position, velocity, deformation gradient, and many other attributes. Using data format quantization, we can effectively compress the attributes into fewer bytes. In fact, there are usually many different quantization schemes for us to choose from. Implementing the conversion between quantized data types and hardware native data types is not easy. Theoretically, an experienced programmer can do all the conversion manually. This gives low level control and high performance, but very, very low productivity. Using a library as a handy abstraction layer makes programmers' life easier, but the abstraction itself has a cost on performance. In this work, we present a compiler approach that achieves high performance and is very easy to use. In fact, developers can very easily write a quantized simulator with our system by just changing 3% of the lines of code. Our programming language and compiler allow developers to effortlessly switch between different quantization schemes to rapidly experiment with different quantized simulators, and ultimately to achieve a good balance between space and precision. Note that our computation code is fully decoupled from the quantization scheme specification. Our domain-specific optimizations improve the memory performance of the simulator and achieves higher performance than a quantization library plus a general-purpose compiler. Finally, the code generator emits efficient code for quantized simulators. To the best of our knowledge, the resulting simulations have unprecedented resolutions in the single GPU setting. Our system provides various custom data types for integers and real numbers. Now let's take a look at how the real numbers are encoded. Our system provides low-bit floating-point data types with shared or independent exponents, and also fixed-point real number types. Please check out our paper for more details on custom data types. Using the correct rounding scheme when encoding real numbers to integers is very, very important, and it has a direct impact on the simulation results. Now let's look at a few large-scale demos. Here we show a very large-scale Game of Life simulation gradually zooming out. The simulation has over 20 billion cells. We initialize the domain with so-called OTCA meta cells. Every meta cell has 2K by 2K basic cells. And the OTCA meta cells have a magical behavior, which is when you zoom out, every single meta cell will behave just like a single Game of Life cell. This is a MLS MPM simulation with over 4,000 elastic tubes. The tubes first fall down, form an interesting mountain structure, and then ultimately collapse due to instability. Now let's look at two smoke simulation examples. Our system also supports the Apple Metal backend, allowing our simulators to run on an iPhone. Here, because of quantization, we can use relatively cheap integer atomic add in place of floating point atomic adds, leading to a 1.4x higher FPS on the iPhone. Here's a typical failure case where using two full bits leads to an unphysical volume gain in the fluid. With our system, the developer can very easily fix this just by using seven more bits. 
to more accurately track the fluid volume. Finally, we show some visual comparisons between quantized and full precision simulators. Thank you.